So it's just going to be one of them quick first impressions uh, day in the life videos and it's uh, this one Amouage King Blue which um, obviously I ordered um, and we'll, we'll see how it goes the box is a bit wet there right right that's <laughs> it's probably going to kill me um, so straight away in the air you do get the Oh, you get the, um, what's it, the kind of, I think, there's, is it mandarin in this? There's like a, a fresh kind of a loveliness there. And the oud is um, is there. It's, um, it's, no, I hate using this word. There's a, the tiniest bit of funk, but not, not, it's not particularly skanky, it's not, it's not anything overly strong or obnoxious or disgusting. Now in the air, the, the black currant is, is actually really quite prominent and quite lovely. And uh, the, the sparkle of the mandarin is still there. Is the pink pepper or something like that in this? I've not, I've not looked at the notes there. And there's a kind of um, toffee oodiness in the base it's like sweet so you'd suspect there's something like maybe a styrax or even a vanilla or benzoin a caramel note and it's a uh, it's all right and it the the, the fruity black currant um gives it gives it a bit of something so yeah yeah it's quite nice um uh, it is very heavy though and that's that's the first kind of thing that i know it is mind you i did spray, spray a lot there didn't i but yeah i'll uh, come back to this through the day so that's uh my kind of first impressions there so yeah um just a quick one we're probably about 15 20 minutes in it's still quite quite a stickiness to it quite a thickness um leatheriness now Probably from the oud. The oud has calmed down. There's still the black currant sparkle, which is nice with maybe bits of that pink pepper, but it's got a must be the patchouli. It's got a little bit of a kind of chocolatey leatheriness about it. Uh, maybe like a chocolate spin in your leather jacket and that. But yeah, that's just a little quick one. So now we're probably about an hour in something like that and um it's not changed too much it's kind of um that sweet kind of toffee oud in the base like i say i again still need i need to look at the nose later but yeah um there's still a bit of the fruitiness in there wouldn't say you can pick out much of the whatever it is black currant mandarin or what have you at this stage but we are like an hour in now so that's you know that's how it goes there's a, the, obviously that lovely leatheriness is there and the patchouli is is a bit a bit stronger so yeah i mean it hasn't massively changed still quite rich and um, heavy and yeah okay you can get a little bit of the black currant and there's a um, maybe a, a hint of something musky something that tickles the nose that that, that kind of lifts it from the it's very heavy it's definitely a kind of wintry one but yeah i'll come back later and then we'll we'll do a little conclusion this is the first impressions of course so yeah so yeah, now we're about um, five, six hours. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll have to come back in the conclusion. Yeah, it's um, it's very pleasant. It's still a bit heavy. The uh, I think it's the frankincense actually, and the, the pink pepper still giving it a bit of the, the old sparkle. You you get that that kind of toffee oud, and there's kind of a rich woodiness about it. So it's. Yes, it's it's very pleasant. I wouldn't say, I mean, again, I'll get more into the conclusion. I wouldn't say it's the most unique thing I've ever smelt, but it is a, it is a very nice one from them. A nice, easygoing one. I mean, 
some people might find the opening perhaps a little a little much but yeah I think it's I think it's nice so I, I'll be back uh, later well, this is just some uh, opinions of some normal people well normal-ish people my family yeah, smell uh, that say what you think of it what the fuck's that? <laughs> it's Amarge. It's... Right, you're not on, don't worry. Just tell me what you think of that. It's alright. It's alright, you like it? Yeah. Yeah, what, do you, do you smell anything in particular? No. No, that's fair enough. Smell it. What do you think? Say a word. You don't know. It's good. It's good? Alright. So yeah, I thought I'd do the little uh, conclusion now. It's probably about 10 hours. It is uh, still going strong. This is probably so windy nobody can hear anything. Oh, anyway, if it is, I'll just record it later. Anyway, so yeah, it still smells. It's that kind of sweet, woody, kind of caramelly oud. Um, and a li little bit of muskiness. Um, do I like it? Yes, yeah, it's all right, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, it's, I'll be honest, it's not the most unique one, um, I've ever really smelt. It's very, obviously, it's very well made, it's amouage, it's very well blended. Out of, um, I mean, this is only my first wear, so it's probably not, you know, you can't say this, but I find it a little on the... On the linear side, really. I mean, the opening is it was fairly interesting and and pleasant, but the strong um, oody edge and the fruitiness disappears um, mm, fairly quickly. Um, but it's, nevertheless, it's quite cosy and it's yeah, quite interesting. I can brighten this up. Um, is it one I'm going to rush out and buy? No, not really. Um, they, they have better ones, um, more original ones to me, um, such as, I mean, Silverwood's the one I'm after. That That is by far more interesting, there's a lot more going on with it. Um, but this one, this one I'd say, once you get past that opening, is a more kind of crowd-pleasing one. Um, yeah, it's typical Amwash prices. Um, like I say, it seems seems all right. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, have you tried this one yet? What's your favourite from Amouage? Do you have a kind of favourite, kind of sweet, oody one? All right, folks. Thanks. Bye.